Hello, I am back with another video and I haven't done one of these in a long time and I actually have to kind of hurry up and do it because my iPad is about to um, die on me. Um, this is a January TBR. Um, so I'm just going to quickly just show you the books that I'm um, that I'm going to read and the books that I've already read for <laughs> the month of January. Um, so books that I have already read for the month of January, actually it's just one, um, it is Black Cake. All I can say is highly recommend, very good, I loved it, very emotional, and I, I don't know, I just, I loved everything about it, um, very good. Um books that I am currently reading. Why can't I find my currently reading shelf? Oh, because it looks different on my iPad than it does um, on my phone. Amari and, oh my goodness, I'm trying to get it. <laughs> Amari and the Knight Brothers. Um, most of my books I kept at work or there in my bedroom where my husband is currently sleeping and I just remembered that I was supposed to do this video like four days ago so I'm doing it now um Amari I love it so far so good I'm only on chapter uh five and I only read it at work with my students while they're reading IDR um I said IDR while they're doing independent reading for those of you that don't know what IDR is, that you're not in the teaching world, is independent readings where the uh, students get to choose their own books and they get to read on their own. So while my students are reading, instead of me bothering them uh, with conferencing, I read along with them. Do I read along with them all the time? No, because I have to actually do conferencing. I just don't want to do the conferencing all the time. I want to give them a chance to read. So that way, the next time we have to do a conference, they can tell me what they read before I sat down and did a conference with them. And then I'll have them read to me. And then I'll, you know, do all that stuff from there. Um, Let's see. What's another one? Another one I am currently reading that is crazy and I actually already want to reread it is Babel. Um, I honestly did not see what all the hype was about uh, with it being an academia. Uh, some people have described it as just a um, fictional academia. Um, some have described it as a historical academia. Some has described it as a dark academia. Um, I think all of those <laughs> are good titles for it. I'm at 29% uh, of the book. Um, and so far, it is just really, really good. Um, but I've never annotated a book that I'm reading for pleasure before. And I've never had the desire to, no matter how many booktubers I've watched do it. This book is the first time I've ever wanted to annotate because of uh, the historical context. Some of it I've never known. This is my first time hearing some of the stuff in there about like the theory with translation. And that is the part that I want to um, annotate. Um, the Bible and the Tower of Babel, I've annotated things like that in my Bible when I'm doing my studies and in other books. So those parts, I just kind of want to like mark off and just like note that they were there. But there are other parts that I've never even known, like, you know, these things before. And I just kind of want to, um, annotate it. And I know not everything in the book is, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Historical historically accurate because I know the timelines are off um, because in the preface or the introduction to the book it tells you all that so I know not everything in it is good and the or is accurate but the storyline is really good and there are parts that um, like the theory and the story is based off of like actual information so I just want to go back and read that and I do uh, I am listening to the audiobook with that one along the way because they're are a lot of different languages and you actually need the audiobook for correct pronunciation. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. 
Joshua, I don't think you hung up. I don't think you hung up. Oh. All right. Next. Oh, no, you didn't. AJ's still on the phone. <laughs> All right. So next it is the other black girl. So far, that book is good, um, but it is, I don't want to say that it's slow. It's just kind of boring a little bit because I don't want to spoil the book, but the part of the book that I'm on um, the other black girl, which is obvious in the title, is starting to work at this publishing company that this black girl is already working at. And, um, their friendship is just about to start, but I'm, because of the character's background, I feel like it's going to be more catty. That's the way the author is setting it up to make it seem more catty than, um, than like an actual friendship. Like they're not giving each other a genuine chance because they're just like eh. I don't know it's weird I don't necessarily dislike it and I don't think that it is necessarily inaccurate when you first meet somebody anyway but just I don't know I just yeah I don't know I don't I just don't know what my complete thoughts are about it just yet it's it's okay it's not bad I'm gonna keep reading it because I want to finish it this month I just I'm not sure how much I'm actually gonna like it um next one I'm currently also reading um but I don't know why I'm reading it so slow because it is actually really good um I think it's just my mind is just all over the place. And then the fact that I'm reading other books at the same time, the other books are just more intriguing. So this one kind of got pushed to the back burner because I started this one in uh, December, um, but I didn't get very far. So I technically would say that this is a January read because I'm going to finish it in January. And it is the book of cold cases. Um, the There's two tor two Tory lines. There's two storylines, um, a present and then a back in the day. Um, and they do, I think they might eventually overlap, but I think that's why, that's why I stopped because I was also reading, um, oh, what is the, I can't think of the title of the book. But it was a podcast book and it was just last month that I read it. I can't think of the name of it, but that book was two storylines. And then I was reading another book that was two storylines. And I was like, three books each have two storylines in it. It was a lot of story to, to have to follow. Um, the House of, yeah, The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager was one of them. And I can't remember what the other one was, but it was a podcast. It's not Night Swim. Cause that one I'm going to be reading this year, but I can't remember what the other one was. It's something similar to that, but it was, uh, solving an old, um, case. I, I can't even remember. All of them are true crime. Yeah. Yeah. And one that I'm slowly reading, but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to finish it. Um, in January, I've literally been reading this book since the beginning of the year. Um, because I really, like it moves so slow, so slow. And I should not expect anything less because it's Stephen King. Um, I think I've only gotten like 20% of the book out of the way. Because uh, I started off reading it on my plan time at work. This was supposed to be a book that I read for, on my plan time. Um, but of course, we all know as teachers that plan time is kind of a joke. You only get like a couple minutes really to yourself because there's just so much to do. Um, but it is Insomnia. I don't know if you can see that title very well. There we go. Insomnia by Stephen King. It is a thicken. It is a tome. It is a thousand pages, I believe, or close to a thousand. I'm pretty sure it's a thousand. Either way, it's pretty thick. Not a hard read at all. Just super slow. Um, I thought it was going to be like one of those books where I get through it at a decent rate, not like super fast or anything with the wording being so small but the fact that 
it took me, I think it was like four 20 minute sessions because I'm also a, a slow reader. Um, it took me four 20 minute sessions just to get through the first part of the book. And spoiler alert, it was a car crash. That was it. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like, can we get past the car ride already? Um, so those are all the books that I'm currently reading. There are three books that should be shorter for me to read. Um, and yeah, they shouldn't take me very long to read at all. It may take me like a week to read each. Well, no, not a week. I don't have a week to read each one. Um, but it should, it, like, if I read them all at the same time and spend, like, maybe 30 minutes on each book, it would take me three weeks to be able to read all of them. Um, and the first one is Tristan Strong, uh, Destroys the World. I love the first one, like, absolutely love the first one. So I was like, I am definitely going to finish this, um, and those, like the Tristan Strong, the first book, I practically read it in three days because it was just that good. Um, easy read, but audiobook is even better. There are some words in there that even me as an adult, I was like, what is, how do you even say that word? How do you even pronounce it? Because it's written in, um, and it's like an African saying or an African name for, the words that I have never heard of. So I also listened to the audiobook and oh my gosh, I got my kids hooked on it because of how excited I was to tell them about it. And my by my kids, I mean my um, students because it is, it's in within fifth grade and sixth grade, fourth through sixth grade, um, even I think seventh and eighth grade as well. Um, it's part of like the books that they can read on their own. Um, but it just great just great wish I had this type of thing to read when I was little um and also Tristan Strong keeps punching the sorry we're also messaging about the pre-k room and stuff that we need to do for church in the pre-k room all right there we go Tristan Strong keeps punching Yes, I volunteer for my pre-K um, kids at church every Sunday. So we have, I also teach pre-K. Um, but anyway, back to this. Uh, Tristan Strong Keeps Punching. That's the last one. It is a three book trilogy. And depending on my feelings on the first three books, I might be writing the author. Um, we need a fourth book because I'm telling you the first one is just so good. That's all I'm going to say because I'm going to give away everything else. Um, lastly, I am reading this one because I've had several of my friends that's like, oh, you like Greek mythology, read this book. And because there was so much hype around it at first with, when it first came out with, um, uh, booktube. And usually when I come across a title that is just like, oh, it's highly recommended and there's just so much talk around it. Um, I don't end up liking them as much as I want to, um, or want it to. Some of them I end up just liking a little, some, then they're just kind of like, okay. Some is like a eh, three star. Okay. And then others are just, and I'm just like, mm. um, so I was just like, no, I don't want to read it. But because I have been told like, oh, you'll like this, you'll like this, you'll like this. I went ahead and, uh, picked it up because it was in, the high school library when we had our professional developments over at the high school I was like oh this would be really cool so I picked it up and I am going to put it on my TBR it is another long book so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get to it by the end of January but I am hoping um yeah so that is my January TBR. Um, let me know what you think about the books on my TBR, if you are reading any of them. 
Um, and if you already read them, what do you think about them? Uh, comment in the comments below. If you are not already a follower of my channel, please join the team and hit that subscribe button. And the best thing you can do for this video is to hit that like button if you like what you see. Um, and until next time, bye.